Okay, hi, my name is Mike Duncan. Um, I work for uh, a startup called, a uh, nonprofit startup called SingularityNet, um, which is attempting to, whose, business, whose plan is to make a distributed network uh, an economy uh, to publish software as a service, basically. Um, and so I'm actually, to make sense of that, I'm actually gonna try to do two talks in one. I'm gonna do a, uh, first I'm going to um, uh, go over an example machine learning algorithm um, that I'm personally working on with my research, and then uh, I'll talk a little about the singularity net and then why you might want to get involved or at least keep an eye on it. Um, so, how do I advance this? Okay, so this is probably not new to any of you. So he, there's um, apply. Okay, um, how do you solve the the machine learning problem? Is how do you get um, uh, how can you work with data with lots and lots of features and not very many samples? Um, for instance, uh, uh, GWAS. Um, so there's um, um, so instead of applying straightforward statistical analysis, um, you can add, it's applying uh, uh, an evolutionary uh, genetic algorithm. Um, Um, all right, sorry, I'm getting really lost here. Um, okay, so a genetic algorithm basically um, solves, uh, solves uh, ca uh, as applied here, it'll solve a categorization problem by um, uh, generating random functions to make the categorization and then rate them on, on uh, and then using uh, supervised learning, it will be able to compare the, re compare the guesses, the results of the of functions with the results, and then modify them, and then s select ones with better scores, and evolve answers to functions. Um, so, um, wait, let me go back to here. So, and so in the GWAS, well, this is the complex disease problem we're finding, trying to associate variants, genetic variants, with disease phenotypes. You get, maybe for most diseases, there's very small contributions from many possible genes or variants. Um, and then there's the statistical problem of doing so many tests, you get a lot of false positives. And then trying, and then this is just for like, looking at ind each independent variant as, as um, the correlation with one particular variant. And if you want to test for more than one variant or interactions of variants, um, even at this point, even with current technology, at genome scale, looking at more than two variants interacting, it's not computationally tractable. Um, so one approach is as using a genetic algorithm. Oh, I'm almost out of time, aren't I? Um, anyway. I, we can talk about this later. I'm doing a poster presentation, but this is one example of uh, an AI algorithm, machine learning algorithm that um, is, could go on to the singularity net. So why, and this is sort of like, so I'll go into this pitch here. Um, why would you want to be involved with this? So the, the idea is basically that it actually kind of gets to the, actually a common theme in a lot of the, um, the, the keynotes, where how, how is the work that we're doing, how does the work we get doing value? And this is actually one partial answer, because the idea is that you can publish your, you can put your software on the net, as a node on the net, um, 
The network provides, um, it's completely distributed, so it's not owned by anyone. And it will be, um, Sorry, I'm blanking here. Um, value proposition. So the, the net provides services where services can be looked up that, are, that exist on the net. And um, all right, I'm over time. Let me stop. So apologize for blanking out on you there. But I'll, I have a poster. and. I can actually, we're hoping to be able to